You just always been a tight to rush that I've been laid back, yeah I don't wanna skip steps, you know that So if you're with it, then say yeah I just need a little bit of patience You need me, I know that you've been waiting During the summer, it's cooler in here yeah. Flies won't come in where it's dark In the winter, I have this full of straw And then they will stay in here Warmer? Yeah Oh, that's a lot of work that you have to put into to keep them safe and warm and... Over the whole year, yes, you know, yes. it's a constant. You constant. know, you have to make sure that they're they're right. okay, they're safe. I see. Um, I, I usually feed every night because then I can make sure everybody's okay. I like to just come into the barn just because I like the barn. You like the barn? Yeah, I You're... like the old buildings and you know, the beams. The house is about 120 years old. The oh barn is goodness. probably similar. Whenever you leave your spinning wheel, you always make sure that your, your band is loose. Okay. This is wool that's been processed. It's a very simple machine. It's all about ratios. Mm -hmm. I'm pressing these and my feet are going up and down and then with this shaft here, it turns the wheel. Keep just going. Like this, just like Keep this. going. Yeah. This is fun. Right now, you're you're doing very well. Like that. Mm. And it makes it interesting. Mm. Yeah. So it's all up to you. It depends on what type of... Also what type of wool you're working what with. What type of wool you're yeah. working with and, mm -hmm. and what type of product you're expecting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's a surprise. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've spun things that I thought, oh, well, that'll be really soft, and right. then I make it and I think, no, it isn't. <laughs> but it, like I say, the breeds are different. Um, they have different qualities, uh, which is why I like to have a variety in my field. Uh -huh. Did you actually make this? Yeah. Your own? Yeah. The whole blanket? Yeah. Wow! Yeah. This is amazing. But this is what they feel like after their, the wool is processed. And oh, it's so soft. It is. It's very, very so soft. So soft. It, it really isn't. It's the same as the little one I have downstairs. Um, it's just set up a little bit differently. and it's, this has eight harnesses, so I have a little. I can do more complicated patterns. Okay. It's a lovely piece of furniture, solid cherry, and very, very, very comfortable to weave on. To weave on, right? Yes, very. Mm -hmm. I processed the whole thing. It, I got the raw fiber off the animal, had it sent away, then I spun it all and then I wove it. So it's 100% of my handmade yarn. And this whole beautiful product you give out to your friends and families <laughs> and your neighbors. Yes. And you're sharing the love with yes. these people around. Yes, and that, and that makes the community yes. alive. Yes, it does. And connected. It's amazing. It's a lot of fun too. Great place. We're in York. This is the York Emporium. Used books and stuff. Explore as many things as you can. And sometimes the best thing is to find out what you don't want to do. Because I was going to go into political science. I was going to go into the Foreign Service. I was going to, you know, work in embassies or whatever. That was what I was, I knew that's what I was going to do. And unfortunately, I was a young woman in the early 60s when women were not allowed to do that. But so I went to a women's college, a liberal arts college, and I found out that I hated political science. But I had an art class, 
It was required. You had to take an art class, you know, art history. And I thought, oh boy. And I fell in love with it. So that's what I majored in was fine arts history. It gave me an exploration of lots of things and to see things and also to you know, like researching. It fills your soul and speaks to you and you know makes you have joy in just seeing and being around. So your major tip for the younger generation is go out and explore as much explore as possible. Explore as much as you possibly can. Don't get locked into because I've been I worked for a newspaper for three years. I worked in customer service and then um, engineering in a, a printed circuit board factory. I wrote CNC programming for enormous computerized machines. Um, I did sales. I was an employment counselor. I went into libraries and that, that was it. So I'd had a couple of odd jobs for, you know, they weren't all on a track. It was some of this, some of that, and some of that. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was fine. I made money at all of them. <laughs> Not rich. Happy. I'm happy. Yes, yes. There's a great deal to be said for personal satisfaction and happiness and being happy with who you are, where you are. You just always been a tight or I said, I've been laid back, yeah. I don't want to skip steps, you know that. So if you're with it, then say it. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's awful. I just need a little bit of patience. You need me, I know that you've been waiting. Down my number twice, promise I'll pick up the line. Yes. Oh, thank you, Ati. Thank, thank you very much. I'm so glad that you came. Yeah. I hope you come back. I'll come back. Yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You say it, you like it. You said that you would.